Hey guys, this is Gary's and welcome back to another episode of Survival of None. We back here in Feed the Beast and we are actually continue kind of just where we left off in the previous episode. I uh, spent a little bit of time get, gathering resources and so on. And we also got a few chickens. So I made a small chicken coop because we needed a um, feather for something. So I did say that I'll continue crafting off cam, but only thing I crafted was a mana spreader because there is still a few things that I think we need to do together um, just to show you guys how it works etc um, and I'm going to grab a crafting table so that we have one close by so let's just put it right here Okay, so in the previous episode we started with Batania and we started filling up these things. Oh, and also I crafted the Endo Flames. So I crafted 10 Endo Flames and they are giving me mana. Okay, so we are... How much mana do we have? For me? Also, you'll notice the Day Blooms is gone. They only last a certain amount. As far as I know, the Endo Flames last forever. The Day Blooms just go for a little bit and they continue and it's done so um, <clears throat> as I said in the previous episode we need to get ourselves some accessories so first thing let's make the ring of magnetization I love this ring because it pulls things closer to you that you need um, so you don't have to run it all around it just pulls them closer so we need four mana steel ingots for that for this one, we need one iron, one gold, and another four mana steel ingots and a piece of glass. Okay, so that's eight mana steel ingots. So how you get that is, come to your mana pool, take eight iron ingots, dump it in, and it will turn into mana steel ingots. Okay, so then we'll use those four to craft the lens. And then we need four. Oh no, wait. We first need to make this lens, the magnetization lens. Then we need to make it a ring. And then we go to our inventory slots. Oh, wait, no. Bubble slot, and we can put it in one of the ring slots. So now, if we drop something. In a second or two, it will pull to us. There is a certain range, but here it goes. So we don't have to run around after it. So if you break stuff, it will just come to us. Let's, for instance, oh, a previous tree we cut down only gave us one sapling. That's kind of sucky. Okay, so um, now for the next part, we need also the sash. The sojourner's sash. This is awesome sash. So we need four there, one mana steel ingot. So let's make one mana steel. And then we need these ruins. So these ruins are crafted on a runic altar. So how we get that? So use a mana pool or a mana diamond with five lowing rocks. So how you get that? Same again, just dump the mana. <coughs> of the diamond or the ender pearl into that and you get the mana variant of that so then we have this and as you can see this thing goes this way so we can just pop it down here i do believe you will go to a great side yes okay so how you craft this this is now different okay so to get to Ruin of the Earths, you need mana powder and a mana ingot. So that means another ingot. Uh, mana powder. I already checked, we need more. Okay. Let's just take this guys away. Uh, let's do that. Okay. So you need mana powder, a mushroom, block of coal, stone and the mana ingot. Coal, 
stone and a mana ingot. Okay, so we'll dump this on. So you right click on the altar. And we'll start accumulating mana from the pool. So this can suck also from a pool to a thing needing it. Now we're waiting. There's a small, um, what do you call it? progress at the right hand side just wait for it to fill up with all the mana if you inc if you upgrade this mana spreader or even put a second one over here pointing to it it will also drain from this mana pool and feed this um, altar so just wait till it's done okay now it shows it's done so now you put on one of these guys and then you right click that so then we have a rune of earth so let's see the next one uh, is a rune of air so if that is a feather also it's the mana powder mana ingot feather it's a string and a carpet so just to show you guys any colored carpet will work so again right click right click right click right click right click and wait for the mana to fall Okay, once again done, add a living rock and right click with the wand. Done and dusted. Okay, so now I think we have everything. Oh, now we need the leather. Uh, let's just get all the items back. Uh, leather. How many do we have? Only one. Oh yeah, we only had one. So let's go kill a few cows. Okay, six leather f down the line. Uh, how's this made again? Mana ingot. Oh, we need an ingot still. So it's an ingot. It's one of these, one of these, and then one of these in each side and there we go the sash also you can just hold it and right click it to equip, equip it but i want to show you guys what this does first so i'm just pressing w now just to move forward so let's count one two okay let's broader put it from this wall we count to five one two three four five we put a torch there okay almost at a tree okay so now we're going to put on the sash again i'm just going to press w for forward one two three four five okay now take off the sash actually i needed to pick up this torch Okay, so walking oh no 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 walking should also be different that's correct first actually we need a mana tablet i completely forgot about that part sorry guys that's my bad so for this to work we need to have um have mana because it's a mana item or a magical item so for it to work we need it to use mana so how you make mana a portable mana storage device because we can't carry around a mana pool all the time so we need to put one of mana uh, uh, mana pull or diamond and you get a mana tablet okay so now if you hold with the wand of the forest over a mana pool it will show the tablet to the pool so if we throw the tablet on there nothing happens okay but if we right click with the okay first need to and sneak and right click to change it to function mode if we right click it now or sneak right click it goes from tablet to mana uh mana tablet uh, from pool to tablet sorry okay now we dump it in now it will accumulate some mana so we don't need a lot only a little bit and you will see it's mana tablet so now now we're going to put the, the um, sash on 
good for sash and now we're going to count again so again i'm just going to use w one two three four five so quite a difference okay so same with running okay so we're going take it off sorry this is might might be a little bit tedious but i want to show you guys why i use this so i'm going to sprint one two three four five okay and that's basically how far we went with just a sash okay now we're going to put on the sh sash now we're going to run one two three four five so yeah quite a big difference so walking is already faster and running is much faster okay so also i'm just pressing forward again and i get stuck on the wall so if you put on massage it auto jumps for you but this is much better than minecraft's auto jumping which is a pain in the behind <laughs> because you actually do the jump and for me the sash is better so normally last trick of it so if i want to get to the cows i need to go over here get into the pen and if i want to get out i need to stand on the this get out of the way on this block and jump over to here so because i can't jump over here but with the sash you can jump over so we don't need this block anymore because now i can just jump over with it so i think the range is two if i'm not mistaken there we go so that's a very nice early game mechanic to have okay and last thing i don't just want the mana tablet always in my inventory because as you know inventory space gets cluttered quite quickly so nice thing is you can make it a ring out of it so grab four iron ingots make mana steel ingots make a ring add the mana and you have a band of mana same thing you can put it in your bubble slot how did i lose a mana oh goodness that's the first time that happens same thing you can add mana to it oh no it took all the mana doesn't matter just equip it and you're good you're good to go so we need to get more mana just want to see yes i can jump again okay and we our inventory isn't cluttered okay so the last thing the reason why i get into britannia quite early game is for the last natural apparatus no wait what where was it again mystical items horn of the wild so this is easy to make it's five living wood and a pasture seed so a seed is just a normal grass in mana and you get the seed and five living wood i need to get a grass get one grass now we need mana again okay not a problem Where's it go? Lost just this. Okay, let's make a few blocks. Okay, only seven this time. Not a big I'll, I'll go mine some coal off game. Just dump it there. Let them pick it up. So they start producing mana. And now that should be fine. Oh no, there's not enough mana yet. So you can see there's a small red X on it. Okay, a couple of seconds later and we have enough mana. Okay, now we craft it. Seed and we have a one of the wild. Alright, so the real reason of this is if you run into a 
a forest looking for siege. You have to hit each one. But with the Horn of the Wild, this is going to be a little loud. So I'm going to keep quiet for a second, not talk, otherwise you won't hear my words. It breaks down all, all the grass in a certain area. But the thing is, with Feed a Beast, one of the drops, a very, very rare drop, is a Ender Lily. Let's see if I can find it here. Uh, witchery, tinkers, extra utilities. Should be an extra utility thing. Okay, I found it under Lily. It's very weird to see. Ender dash Lily. Ah, oh, that's why I didn't get it. So this is a ancient breed of plant with seeds can now only be found in all dungeons but you do get as i said you have a slight chance of getting it as a seed drop in the world so i have to run around looking for these ender lily seeds because if you plant them it takes a quite a while and it will grow into an ender pole for you but you can't use any method of trying to speed up the growth otherwise it, just, it actually reverts <laughs> as normal plants if you feed it water or water it with a watering can or even use bone meal on it it grows faster the end of lily reverts actually so yeah it's a waste of time so you have to let it leave it and it grows so i usually plant it next to my um, base but you can plant it on a ender stone if you plant it on ender stone uh, come on. Endstone, sorry. Endstone. You can either make endstone with sandstone and transpose it with a resin ender. Um, or you can use resin ender and pour it over obsidian in the casting basin. So we'll probably do that. Oh, you can use sandstone as well. Nice. It uses a bit more so i'll use, rather use this and you get endstone on endstone ender lilies grow much more much more quickly but we need ender pearls to make resin ender and we don't have any more um and oh we have one ender pearl i think let's see if we can get one let's see it needs to give us 50 millibuckets Come on, come on. If you can give us 50 millibuckets, we can make. There is a way that you can get um, water into this thing. I don't know why it doesn't work. So you, you're supposed to be able to um, craft obsidian in this. So the only other way is to make a water a tank of some sort. So I'll do this quickly off cam. A tank. Uh, so just glass, okay, cool. And then a conduit. The easiest is a fluid con conduit. With glass. You need to use quite clear glass. Okay. Well, quite clear glass. I can chisel it as well. Is with sand in the um, alloy furnace that we already may have. Okay. So we just need one more sand. Let's go there quickly. Okay. So over here. I think it needs to be in furnace mode only. Let's see. No, it works in alloys mode. It's actually good because otherwise I think it just makes normal glass rather than quite clear glass. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
Okay, quite clear loss. Conduit binder. We have fluid dust. Okay, and then we need eight of these guys, and we can make a BC tank. I think that's the cheapest tank that you can make. Okay, so you put this up there. Put that there. This one. So this one you disable so it doesn't go anywhere. This one you put into insert mode and this one you can put in extract mode. Always active. Okay. Just want to see Resident Ender gives actually 250. Nice. That's actually much cheaper. Okay. So we can actually get five instances. We put that in and it will it should give you water here. Yes, water. Uh, let's go grab a bucket of lava, make sure it works. Also, Tinker's construct tools you can't destroy. Oh, I actually did got destroyed. Never mind. That was a false statement. I threw away in the no Tinker's construct tools and it didn't want to go away. So now if you put that in, if you check here, that lava and water, it will just take a second that the side to go. It will actually give obsidian. Come on, come on. Okay, I think it needs to be one to one before it works. There we go. And use something. Okay, obsidian is at the bottom. Okay. So now we can put that there. Pour obsidian. Wait for it to harden. It's hardened. Now we use resin ender. Should only need 50 milli buckets, not 250. No. You see that would work. Why don't you work? No. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it needs to use that side. Okay, no problem. And <clears throat> we have in stone. So let me quickly make a few in stone. And then we can place it next to our base. So we'll just have a few here. Then we go out in the world looking for ender lilies seeds and we'll plant it here. Okay, actually I see what what's a problem. You can cast it from this side, but you need to it, once the obsidian is cast, you have to pick it up and place it back in. Then it works casting with ender. So that's cool. So now we have five end stones. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to dump everything in the chest. Let's just have the chest. Of course, I'm going to be overfilled with so, so much items. So you can go there. Actually, I need the extra chest. Okay, so I placed the five instants. So now all that we need is ender lilies. I just want to get rid of this. Okay, so let me set out. I'm going to blast all the grass and we are going to get a ton of seeds and I'll just throw away most of it. Okay, I quickly bring you guys in. I want to show you guys something. I made a trash can, so I'm just dumping everything in here that I don't think we'll need a use for. So I'm keeping Britannia's flowers and the other things I'm just throwing away. String we can keep. Wool we can keep. Okay, so rest. So you can filter um, with any eye or is this J? I'm not sure. So by double clicking here and it will, whatever is here, filter it out in your inventory. So that's kind of cool. Okay, and then I pick up this again and if I open it that filters keeps applied 
But I'm going to show you guys something. Um, I just saw this tree with um, the, what do you call it, cobwebs. And there's usually a spider spawner below it. And in that, there's usually a chest, a uh, treasure, uh, looting chest or treasure chest or a dungeon chest. So there's a possibility that we can find that thing in here. Nope, no, no, nothing. We need that. The safari net is useful. That's useful. We can use that. We can use that. That can stay. Computer craft. I've rarely played with computer craft, so uh, we can actually use that. And just want to put the things that we're going to use over here. Let's do that because we can capture a animal with this, which is awesome. Okay, I don't want to keep anything else, but I can wear that. <laughs> okay, so I just want to show you guys if you see a tree like this in one corner, there's a loot chest that you can get. Anyway, let me continue my journey. Okay, so far. I couldn't get <laughs> any of those inner lily seeds, but I got a couple of um, petals. So, yeah, that's fun. I got all the colored petals again. Spent a couple of hours and no luck. So, I remember that I saw a mine shaft down below me in my mind so I'm quickly going to see if there's any going to grab a couple more torches and then we're going to go there and see if there's any loot chests and as for preparation I think a stone sword is not sufficient anymore so let's get some rubies um, rubies and sapphires all those are the same so five attack uh, let's see. Seven attacks. So yes, that's definitely better. Um, oh well, just dump this here. Okay, let's go see if we can find that mine shaft. Um, can't remember quite exactly where it was and there it is somewhere um nope oh i should have gotten more torches but it's okay uh, let's see if we go down here Somewhere along this side. Huh. Let me see if I can find the path and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I just found the mine shaft. I've been here already, so I don't know why I struggled to find it so much. let's see usually there's loot ah, like right there uh, there's loot chests as I was about to say and lapis is always nice to get <laughs> There's another one. Uh, I don't want to really destroy the lava sources. It's good to have them. Nope, nothing. Okay, I don't know if there will be more loot cards. But 
I'm hoping. Because that might mean that we can find loot we're looking for. I'm lighting up this place because, man oh man, if you get lo lost here and there's danger, you get lost quite properly. But, yeah, we can just pillar or dig up. Anyway, let me quickly look around to see if I can find it. Sorry if the episode is running long a bit. I just want to get that end of the lease. Yeah, okay, no luck at all. So um, I'll go to the villages that I saw in the past. So we found another village over here. We'll go back to this village and go see if we can maybe find what we were looking for in one of them. Um, maybe trade with one of the villagers or one of the chests. Maybe I missed something. Um, I found a little few things, but nothing <coughs> else worthwhile. But yes, um, unfortunately, no lily seeds. I think maybe the change is that you can't get lily seeds anymore on these guys. But yes, I've been all over the place. Forever and a day. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where to go anymore. So I think they changed the chance of getting that drop. As I mentioned, um, under lily there we go all right looks like it's only available in dungeons maybe we'll only be able to find this in um, the nether but we'll see the problem is we need ender pulls for every basically everything in ender io you need ender Interpulse. So that is the reason why we wanted that many. So not a lot of things, but or not most things. It is a lot of things that does require it. And most of these pulsating iron, you need it for all your conduits and so on. Um, the better power conduits, the item conduits, and yeah, even this you need for this you need ender pulls. So we really need ender pulls to get the nicer things of ender IO, but it won't stop us from ender IO, using ender IO, that is. But we'll get it. But for now, I'm going to call it, since we didn't find it and we were over time. Sorry about that once again, but thank you for joining me guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.